hi and welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Jada and I do art videos today I am going to be painting um, a piece based on some of Claude Monet's water lily pieces and this is gonna be on a teeny tiny canvas as you can see it's about two and a half inches square I love these small canvases you can get them in different shapes and I'm gonna be using oil paint today so I'm mixing Georgian water mixable oil paint with the regular just Windsor Newton oil paint. So I've done several of these tiny paintings before. I really really like them and I think that they are a great way to use up a little bit of paint that you have left. So when I finish a session of oil painting I often have paint left on my palette and I just don't want to waste that paint so I use it to make these teeny tiny little canvas paintings. And these canvas paintings are cool because you can buy these canvases that have magnets on the back if you want to put them on your fridge. I have some of them um, on magnetic surfaces in my art room. But definitely doing this, you um, will get a little bit messy. Like you're going to get paint on your hands because I can't think of a better way to do this that doesn't involve me holding the canvas. If you get oil paint on your hands, it's no big deal. It's not really going to hurt you, but just make sure you wash your hands off really, really well, especially if you're using more expensive oil paints because some of those, and there, see, I'm showing the AP logo. That will tell you if your paints are particularly dangerous. Some of the paints, especially whites or the more expensive blues, are actually have things in them that are not so good for the environment, not so good for you to take in. So if you're going to get paint all over your hands, make sure you wash them really, really well. Or you could wear a pair of gloves. I didn't do that. <laughs> so another really cool thing about these tiny canvases is that they don't take very long to paint. This is actually sped up a little bit. It's at two times speed, but it took me about 10 minutes to make this tiny impressionistic painting. And I really like how it turned out. I think it's really cute. And you can do a lot with these. These little tiny canvases have gotten really popular in the last few years and they sell little easels that you can buy to put them on for display. I've seen little frames that you can purchase to put your tiny canvas in. One of the cooler things I've seen with a tiny canvas, I used to live in Boone, North Carolina, and someone had taken a tiny canvas and they had glued it onto the side of a bank on our main street called King Street. I always thought that was really neat. It was just a little, little scenery that had been glued there. Um, so a tiny piece of graffiti. So if you're not familiar with Claude Monet, he's one of the more popular impressionistic pa painters, and he lived from 1840 to 1926. Most of his water lily paintings, and he did about 250 of them, were done in the last 30 years of his life. He had this beautiful flower garden at his home, and a lot of these paintings were actually done while he suffered from cataracts. In 2007, one of his water lily paintings sold for 18.5 million pounds at an auction in London. He has painted another famous series called Haystacks, and I think those are another set of really beautiful paintings, and they show different light at different times of day, and how haystacks and country scenes kind of change with the different seasons. Also, Claude Monet is really the founder of the French Impressionism movement, and he painted one of the most famous Impressionistic pieces called Impression Sunrise. It was one of the first Impressionistic, impressionistic pieces. I'm sorry, I'm saying that word a lot. Uh, it was one of the first Impressionistic pieces to be displayed. And it's just a really beautiful piece. Of course, there were other artists working around the time in Impressionistic styles. But Impressionism itself got its name from Impression Sunrise by Claude Monet. So this has been your daily dose of art history. I hope that you're enjoying the painting. These are so fun to do and I just really like them. I have a bunch of really tiny water lily paintings in my house now and they're, they're really fun to have around. I think this is another good way to get into oil painting. It makes it seem less scary when you're doing a small painting. Of course, small paintings do have challenges of their own when you get to smallness on this size. It's more of a challenge to come up with and paint a cohesive image when you only have two and a half inches by two and a half inches to work with. You have to be a little bit more careful when picking subject matter because some small details might have to be cut from a painting that's this small. 
but I really, really like doing these. They're so fun. They're very hard to pick up. <laughs> like after you set them down, you're trying to pick them back up. It's like, where do I touch it? Where do I touch it? All the edges are wet. But there you can see some of the detail close up. It's really pretty. Um, and it'll take it about a week and a half to two weeks to dry, maybe a little bit longer since some of the paint is on there. And as you might have noticed, there's paint all over my hands. But this is my finished piece. Um, it's actually a little bit more pastel in real life than the camera picked it up here. But I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this piece. If you want to see more stuff like this, please like and subscribe. I do all kinds of art from oil to printmaking to watercolor to even crafts sometimes. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.